Hey everybody! I have no idea what day it is because I have no idea what day I'm going to drop this. I'm learning this new editing software. I still have a video from last Friday that I was supposed to drop that talks about Claire's show. And then I was on Claire's show and it's been a week and I still haven't published it. So I got to get that out. But I'm not good at holding boxes and I got some stuff in today. So I thought I'd do some opening. I don't even remember what I bought. So um, yeah, I apparently went a wee bit overboard. <clears throat> they were having a sale on Funko Shop. And so I picked up some things I need and maybe some things for giveaways. I don't remember. I don't even know what I got, honestly. I didn't expect a box this big, though. Some ridiculousness in the size of this box here. Uh, let's see here. If I can get it open. Okay. Paper. I bought paper. The little one. So um, my keys have the red Batman and all that's left is the head. So I picked up a Bumblebee pocket Pez. It was super cheap. I don't remember how much it was, but it was cheap. It was cheap. And he's cute. He's cute. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is probably the one in the box that I was most excited for. Because we weren't really sure when this first dropped, like, a picture of it, if it was actually going to go. But I had to get it, because it reminds me of my dad. So I got the nerd Deadpool, because I think he's so cute. Look how cute he is. I mean, it's like Urkel Deadpool. Urkel Pool. Whatever you want to call it. So this is his um, 30th, 30 years, nerdy 30 years, is what it says. And there were a bunch of the other ones, but I didn't really like those as much as, and I'm not a big Marvel person, but I had to get Nerdy Deadpool because he is adorable. This little pocket protector. And it says, I love math on his, on his little button. Had to. That was like, I had to. Sorry, dad, if you're watching this. All right. I don't remember what this one is. Oh, okay. All right. So I picked up another G.I. Joe. I got Leatherneck. So I have, um, thanks to Ray Pops, I have the Chase Zartan and the regular Zartan. I have Shipwreck already. I picked him up on the drop. So now I have Leatherneck. Stay. I used to get excited when I saw these. Have you guys ever noticed that? But uh, now they don't have con stuff in them anymore. So, uh, And then this is the last one that I needed out of that one. And his box is a little bit different. So uh, I got Dr. Mindbender from G.I. Joe. And on the back it just has the Dr. Mindbender. But if you look at Leatherneck, he shows them all. So I don't know why they're different. Um, but very cool. Glad I got him. And then I got this guy because cancel culture, Mr. Potato Head is going away. He's just going to be potato. Well, it's just going to be Potato Head. So I got the one with the mixed up face. I thought it was cute. Target exclusive. I'm surprised it actually has the Target sticker on it, but that's cool. Um, so I picked him up because there might not ever be a Mr. Potato Head again. And um, so I thought that was kind of fun. Box is a little not great, but whatever. And then the final thing is a big boy, which would explain the big box. And I almost bought this at Walmart, but then I held off and he was on sale too. So I picked up, God, this is heavy. I picked up the, the 10 inch He-Man to go with my uh, Disco Skeletor and my Beast Man. Uh, I still gotta pick up the, the 10 inch regular Skeletor, but uh, I picked up Human. I have the power. Uh, might edit that part out. But he's got the big axe and the shield and everything. I don't. This one didn't have a chase, I don't think, uh, for a 10 inch. But that's okay. I don't care. He's cool. Love Masters of the Universe line. That's probably it's one of one of the lines that I've been hardcore collecting lately. 
And then there's this. And I pre-ordered this a while ago. And true story, when I was a kid, this was my favorite show to watch during the day. And uh, that and uh, picture pages with Bill Cosby, who turned out to be a freak. Um, but this one I ordered, I pre-ordered a long time ago when it first dropped um, because I loved the show. In fact, I was just looking at the remains of my grand prize game game that I built outside. It is Bozo the Clown. Oof. I, I don't think they did it. I think it's just box got folded bad. Eesh. All right, well, whatever. Uh, so I got Bozo the Clown. I don't know if they're going to do Cookie or the Wizard or whatever the guy's name, Wizard or whatever his name was, but um, I had to pick this up. I mean, I love that. All I wanted to do was go to the freaking zoo in Chicago and win a Schwinn bicycle by throwing ping pong balls into little pails with as long as my arms are, I figured I could get to the Schwinn. I think they even put money in the final bucket. And um, so I actually found out how far it was um, and built my own. So you stand with your toes at the end of the board and then I had ping pong balls and it was in part of my drunken Olympics that I used to play with my friends. It's all rusted now and I could fix it, but whatever. Um, so I had to pick this up and I think it's cute. Do I think it necessarily looks like Bozo? Eh. Um, they do have the outfit down, which is good. The face is not Bozo, but that's all right. Who cares? Um, and Dave, you'll be happy. I got myself a clown. I finally got my clown. Um, so yeah, I had to pick him up. Totally cool. Love Bozo. Love Bozo. So, this was just going to be a short one. I don't know if I'm going to throw this through the editor or I'm just going to push it, push this one up and then edit the other one because I'm so bad at it. Um, but, put a little bumblebee up here too. Um, what do I get coming up on CTV? Well, Troy and I. So, um, next week on the 30th of March, we're having international night. So, we have M3 Lions from the UK coming on. And I have Fam Funko from Canada coming on. We're going to talk about all the differences between international collecting and all the craziness that happens. And then on April 6th, I have Chef John Fox coming on. We're not only going to talk about collecting because he's a Funko collector too, but his new restaurant, Foodies, we'll talk about when I tried out for MasterChef, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so, you know, eat beforehand or bring snacks because we'll probably make you hungry. And then on the 13th, we have the return of Wendell, um, hip hop master collector. Uh, he is back. He's been busy doing stuff for school and trying to get the shop open. Uh, we're going to do a, um, hopefully, if this works out the way that we're supposed to work out, he's going to give you guys a whole tour of the new shop so that you guys can see it. And um, he's going to tell you about the cool thing that he's got going on with the TLC pops as well. Uh, he's friends with some of, of TLC, so uh, he should be giving us a little sneak preview that night as well about what's going on with, with that project. So lots of cool things coming up on CTV over the next three weeks. Um, should be awesome. So can't wait to see you guys on Tuesday nights. Also, if you haven't checked out Big Dog Dave, uh, we are one week away, about a one week away from his auction on Whatnot. Uh, it was for a great cause. Make sure that you guys tune, tune into that. Um, anything you guys can do to help will help Puzzle Pieces Square. Thanks, guys. Bye.